This is the lane departure warning test and using RT range we are calculating the position of our test vehicle and measuring the distance between the vehicle and a lane marking on our test track. We survey the lane markings using a survey trolley to get precise coordinates for the points of the lane. With an RT3003 in the test vehicle, we can achieve one centimetre position accuracy between the lane. We've used a base station to achieve that accuracy and we can get a precise point from the furthest right-hand side of the vehicle to the lane on the ground so that we're measuring tyre to lane precisely. The vehicle's moving at a constant speed and we can set that using a driving robot that is synchronising the position to the RT itself. Heading is a really important value because we want to understand the precise trajectory of the vehicle as it's moving in the lane. And the position of the outer edge of the tyre to the lane is the value that the system is capturing. And we can post-process that data afterward if we want to look into some of the values in more detail. The vehicle here moves towards the lane and it's the outer edge of the tyre distance between the tyre and the lane that we're capturing. As we hit the outer edge of the lane and go outside the lane, the RT range system is calculating a minus range value to the lane. In the lane departure warning test, there's another sensor that we're capturing data from, and that's on the canvas of the vehicle. We want to know when did that departure alert uh, come on in the vehicle. So the data has been collected in real time by the RT and it's being logged to the laptop that the driver can see to monitor what's going on. Because we're collecting sensor data from a number of different inputs, we need the ability to snip the data, to cut down the data to only the really important data points that we're interested in. Using the OXTS test and save plugin, we can start and stop our lane departure warning test according to certain thresholds. For example, speed or position on the test track. That means when you get back to the office and you're analysing the data, you're not wasting time looking at data that you don't really need. The OXTS data is in a very flexible, open format, so you can output it and play with it in different acquisition systems and applications to get that validation data point that you're really looking for in the end. The OXTS system, or RTs, are the system of choice globally for driving robot and platform manufacturers for tests like this.